From the CUBE studios in Palo Alto and Boston, connecting with thought leaders all around the world, this is a CUBE Conversation. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman and welcome to this special CUBE Conversation. I'm coming to you from our Boston area studio and the CUBE is really mostly about, it's about people, it's about network. And so we're going to have a, a focus in, we're going to talk about some technology. We're also going to talk a little bit about careers. I want to welcome to the program. I've got two first time guests on the program. First, Mark Spikowski, probably butchered that badly, Mark, sorry, uh, technical advisor and Blue Gaston. Uh, Gaston, boy, I'm doing horrible with names here. <laughs> Software engineer, you're both with Polyvert, but uh, you know, my last name's Miniman. It has been butchered a million times. Uh, but Mark and Blue, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you're welcome. Our yes. pleasure. Yes. All right, so uh, one of you I've read a lot about online, and the other one is Mark about the Wikipedia page, stuff like that, <laughs> so we'll, we'll get to that uh, too. So um, uh, Blue, maybe to start with you, give us a little bit about your background. Uh, uh, yeah, so I, um, I work at Polyverse now, a cybersecurity startup. Um, but actually, I got my undergraduate degree in philosophy, and from there, kind of was like, what am I going to do with a philosophy degree? Um, and it, it just weirdly was like a natural transition. I was like, oh, computer science and the kind of the logical, like the technical version of philosophy. So um, got my master's uh, in philosophy and now have, or not philosophy, in uh, computer science and now I've been working um, at Polyverse. Uh, I started as an intern and they hired me on, I think after a month, they were like, nope, we want you full time. Um, so that was cool and I've, I've loved it. Uh, so I'm starting off my story. That's, that's kind of where my kickoff point is. Um, awesome. yeah, that, that's so, me. and Mark, first of all, you have to give us the connection between yourself and Blue and uh, a little bit surprising that she waited so long to, to go into uh, you know, the computer business. Uh, okay, I'm her stepfather. Um, it's not surprising that she, that she uh, you know, wanted to go into computer science. She's got lots of aptitude for it. Um, she, it was, she was just on a, uh, a career path and, uh, and an education path that was primarily you know, logic analysis, um, uh, which is basically what we do in computer science. All right, so Mark, if you could just give our audience a little bit of a thumbnail sketch uh, as to your background uh, you know, in, in the tech industry, and it's a storied one. Uh, okay, um, I was, I think, employee number 55 at Microsoft when I started back in 1981. Um, the first task that they gave me was to work on something that ended up becoming MS-DOS. Uh, I worked on MS-DOS for a long time, uh, you know, about five and a half years. Uh, worked on a number of other operating systems at Microsoft, ending up with being one of the uh, um, initial development managers and architects for Windows. I was responsible for all file storage. And I was there for about 26 years. Yeah, uh, you know, interesting, you know, when you look on the Wikipedia page, uh, you were the third employee that reached the 25 year milestone. Uh, you know, some guy, Bill Gates and Steve Ballmer were the first two uh, to reach that milestone. So, you know, quite impressive. You know, I, I think back, you know, back when I learned computers, it was programming and, you know, today it's coding and, you know, things are, you know, quite different there. Uh, but, uh, you know, Mark, there, you were also, you're, you're noted as one of the early hackers uh, there. So, you know, what does, what does that mean to you? How have you seen that been changing? Uh, you know, Polyverse is in the cybersecurity realm. Uh, so we would love your kind of viewpoint on, uh, you know, just hacking in general. Well, the early days, well, my hacking started pretty much when I was in eighth or ninth grade uh, back in Detroit. We had access to a, uh, an operating, an academic operating system called MTS uh, from, by way of uh, Wayne State University. <clears throat> I grew up in, uh, just in the suburbs of Detroit. Uh, and we had access to it. And for me, <coughs> excuse me, hacking at the time was all about trying to understand and learn stuff that was arcane and hidden and uh, mysterious, um, figuring out how, for example, password encryption algorithms work, figuring out how operating systems worked, because at the time, um, there, were, there were very few you know, organized textbooks about how to construct operating systems, even though the operating systems had been around for 20 years. Um, yeah. So that's, so, you know, my, my early, earliest stuff was in, in uh, basically, uh, finding holes in security at MTS, and that's how I started. And, um, 
you know, in a, in a, what they would say hacking, but it was very innocent. It was very, let's, let's see what we can do as opposed to let's extract information. Let's, let's go and, and ransom, ransom people's data for Bitcoin. Um, you know, which is, you know, I, I think, you know, the wrong, wrong direction to go. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm curious here, right. Your, your thoughts as, as the decades have progressed, you know, hacking today, you know, what, 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 what's your take on, you know, is the white hats and the black hats and, uh, everything in between. Uh, it's kind of an arms race. <laughs> uh, everything that the white hats will throw up, the black hats will eventually attack to some degree. Um, social engineering is is sort of the the ultimate way of, that people have been getting around, uh, you know, software uh, protections. Um, I, I think it's unfortunate that that um, there is such a financial reward to black hat side of to the black hat side of things, um, you know, as counter to you know one's ethics. Um, I think there's a lot of slippery slopes involved um, in terms of, you know, boy, these companies shouldn't be making money. So I, you know, I deserve my bit. Um, I think that it's much better that, that, that you know, pe people should, you know, come at this from an intellectual, um, you know, exploration standpoint rather than an exploitative, but, that's the nature of the world. Yeah. Well, Blue, maybe we can help connect the dots towards uh, what, what you both do at Polyverse. Uh, you, you mentioned you started as an intern, uh, and I love the article it talked about. They said, well, you know, you're going to be an intern. Can you fix the internet for us? Um, <laughs> and you did some things uh, to, to help, uh, you know, help stop some of that uh, malicious hacking. Yeah, I, uh, that was crazy. I was very intimidated um, when I when I heard that uh, you're going to be fixing the internet. Uh, what I've been working on at the company, which is different from our flagship product, um, but kind of in the same vein, uh, is is to stop uh, malicious PHP uh, JavaScript um, code execution. So that's what they came in. That's how they they prefaced that problem to me. It was you're going to go fix the internet, um, and. It was crazy. It was really cool and surprisingly, like a lot of philosophy that goes goes like into the the way we look at our our problem solving at Polyverse and how we tackle problems. Um, but of course, I have my Jedi Master Mark over here, and I was constantly, "What do you think about this? Isn't this crazy? Like, look at how Polyverse is attacking this." And I think finally, I broke him down, and I was like, "Come join. Come jump in, and you know, you be the foresight and." You tell us what we're gonna do in a year or two, um, and I convinced him. And now, now he's he's with us too. Excellent. So, Mark, tell, tell us a little bit about you know more about Polyverse. You know your role there. Uh, you know you in the industry is a lot of talk about you know lots of money obviously gets spent uh, spent on cybersecurity, but you know it, it's still a major challenge in the industry. So, what what what's your role there, and how's Polyverse helping to attack that? Well, my, my title is, is technology advisor, and I'm one of a, a collection, a small collection of people who have pretty wide ranging expertise across operating systems, networks, compilers, languages, development tools, all of that. Um, and our goal is, you know, my role as well as the other Jedi masters um, is to is to is to take a look at what Polyverse is doing at present, try to figure out where we need to go, try to figure out what the next set of challenges are, use sort of our, our broad experience and knowledge of, of you know, the computing milieu and try to figure out what, you know, what are the, uh, the tough issues we need to face. We, we make some progress on those tough issues and then turn, turn everything over for the, uh, for the mainline you know, Polyverse development staff to, to you know, bring into reality. We're not a re we're not like researchers. We're we're much more into the product planning side of things. But but product planning in a in uh, I hate to use this word, but in a visionary sense. <laughs> yeah, no, it's well. We uh, look for it, we look for the vision. We're not visionaries. We look for the vision. You're a visionary, Mark. Yeah. Admit Thank it. You, <laughs> Excellent. Well, I, I I do love the the uh, you know Jedi uh, analogy there. Uh, when you look at, so, I'm curious your thoughts, uh, both of you. Uh, you know, some of the, the real challenges and opportunities facing, uh, you know, the, the cybersecurity industry, you know, I say, you know, large financial industry uh, company, you know, they'll spend a billion dollars and, you know, does that make them secure? Well, at least they've done what they can and they're pushing enough pieces. Um, but, you know, fundamentally, 
uh, we understand that this is, you know, such a huge issue. I think Hello? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can try to answer. Uh, I think Polyverse recognizes that as well. So we're we're trying to create new solutions that instead of, you know, just being compliant and checking the boxes, we're actually trying to create systems and products that will stop attacks from actually working. Rather than being reactive and being responsive, we're trying to, you know, build these systems out where the attacks just don't work um, as they are currently designed. And I think we, you know, and, and, and to do so in an easy to deploy time-saving kind of way um, is, is definitely our goal. So rather, rather than the status quo and, you know, we're fighting inertia, we're trying to, to change that narrative in a really meaningful way. Thanks, Blue. Mark, do you have some comments you can add to that? Once we started, once we started taking individual computers and hooking them up to the internet, uh, where they could communicate fairly freely with each other, and by, by intent, communicate fairly freely with each other, by design, by intent, um, all of a sudden that opened us to just a wide range of, of malicious behavior, uh, you know, from from being DOSed to to leaking passwords, et cetera. Um, there are there's layers and layers that one can do to to mitigate these problems. Um, you know, from you know, uh, op, you know IT operational manuals to fuzz testing your API to you know to best practices. It's it's a there's a long list and um, Every bit of every piece of it is important. Um, you need to you need to secure your passwords before you can do anything else. Uh, you need to uh, you know make sure that that there's a firewall in your system before you go and start um, before you even start thinking about doing things like like what you know what's going on with what we're doing at Polyverse. Um, it's a it, like I said there's a there's a wide range of tools that people need that people use that people spend money on today. Polyverse has got a very unique um, perspective on how to go and extend this. We, it's a, it's, ex, it's very pragmatic. It understand, you know, the realization is that these attackers are going to keep attacking and they're going to exploit certain features that, despite everyone's best intentions, aren't aren't uh, aren't covered. And we have found a, a, a rather rather unique and novel way to to prevent people from doing it. Um, is it the, is it going to solve everything? No, there's still, you know, there's all these other early layers that need to be taken care of first before we, um, before, you know, the, you know, the more sophisticated tools that, you know, for example, that Polyverse has or that other, other, other companies have. Great. Well, you know, Blue, you, you talked a little bit about it, but, you know, love your, uh, what, what you found, you know, working together as a family dynamic here, uh, you know, specifically. Um, <laughs> I think it, it's really cool. Uh, what's what's the best? I'll say this is when I, I always like ask, asking Mark his opinion because why wouldn't I? He the brain that guy has and just the the experience he can add so much. But every once in a while, I'll go and I'll say, you know, oh, this is what I'm working on, and here's what I'm kind of thinking, and I'll say, oh yeah, well, what about this? And I'll actually get to explain something to him. And I gotta tell you, that feels really good, is when I get to say, oh, well, actually, it looks like this, and this was my plan, and he's like, oh, yeah, definitely. And I get that validation, which is really cool. Um, and I can, you know, drive to his house and bug him, whatever I want to. I know where he lives, so if I'm really stuck. Um, or just want to bounce ideas off of him. It's really cool. It's, it's really cool. And I, you know, strong arm, no, strong arm. I enticed him to come and join Polyverse just by the cool things that we're doing. and. I think that's cool too, um, to now be able yeah. to work on something together. Yeah, it's and Mark, awesome. that sounds like you're, you're learning some things from Blue. Give us your, your, your side of that relationship. Um, well, it's a great relationship. Blue, um, Blue never hesitates to challenge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, that's in a, and I'm saying that in a very positive sense. Um, uh, you know, she'll come up. You know, I, every so often I'll get a I'll get a text from her that says, "Help!" Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, sorry. At least I'm not showing it. <laughs> um, 
but it's great. And, you know, we get together and we talk about stuff and, and, you know, she, you know, she says, you know, here's, here's the problem I'm, I'm facing and I'll, I'll ask her about it. And she gets to go and teach me about what her problem is. Um, I'm a big fan of teaching, you know, um, I don't think, I think one of the frustrations that Blue has is I almost never give her the answer when she asks a question. <laughs> um, no, I, not I, even I may, when I was in school. Yeah, not even when you were in school. I was always asking the questions and, and leading her to the answer rather than just giving it to her. Um, or saying, well, why don't we sit down and I'll teach you how to implement Malik. It's like, oh my yeah. God, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. So yeah, I'm a big fan of teaching and, and learning by way of teaching. I, one of the things I do is I, uh, I'm a affiliate with the university of Washington and I, and I teach every year, one quarter of their operating systems class. Um, and I love teaching. I love seeing the light go on, but every year when I'm teaching a class that I know pretty well, uh, I learn something new by a question that the student asks or by, you know, reading a paper that I'm asking the students to read. I learn something new just about every year. And so having blue teach me, okay, is a way that I get to learn. But I think in the process, Blue also gets to learn as well, you know, in the process of teaching me. Yeah, well, that's such a great point. All right, I want, I want to give you both just the, the final word uh, on, you know, what's exciting you, uh, you know, what draws you to, you know, working in the cybersecurity industry? Um, I'll start. <laughs> uh, so when I started at Polyverse, I actually got to, as an intern, own my own product. And in, I think, less than a month now, we're actually officially releasing that product, um, Polyscripting. Officially, like, marketing is coming up with materials for it. And that was right out of school is when I started on this project. So it's kind of like a, a big deal for me. You know, I've owned the project, I'd say, like, 90% of it um, over the last year or two. And now I get to see it come into fruition. So that's really exciting to me. Um, you know, that's exciting. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about what Polyverse is doing, um, in general. So, yeah. And Mark? Yeah. I, um, it's, uh, it's great working in a startup. It's great working with a bunch of very, very bright, energetic people. Um, for me, contributing in that, contributing to that environment is, is, is extremely valuable. Uh, helping Polyverse out there, you know, cybersecurity is a problem. Trying to come up with good, effective solutions that are really pragmatic in terms of, you know, we're not going to solve every problem, but we're here's a here's a a great little space that we're going to, you know, solve all you know all the problems in. Um, that's a that there's a huge appeal to that for for, uh, for me. Well, Mark and Blue, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you sharing some of the you know, personal as well as the professional journeys that you've both been on. Thanks so much. Yeah, yep, thank you're you. welcome. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm Stu Miniman. Thanks for watching.